Well, folks, I'm standing here today with uh, somebody who, if you're in the horse community at all, needs no introduction. This is, of course, Julie Goodnight, uh, formerly of Horse Master TV, and I guess you still got some episodes available for streaming and download and yep, available yep. on DVD. Yeah. 260 episodes to be exact. Fantastic. So we're here today at Houghton Equestrian Center or Houghton College Equestrian Center and this is in Houghton, New York and we're here for the CHA National Conference. This International. Is inter yeah, correct because of course we have membership in Canada and, and Mexico, other parts of the world. England, yeah. Australia. Yeah, so Julie, tell us about some of the projects that you've been working on. What are some of the upcoming things from Julie Goodnight Horsemanship that we can look forward to? Well, you know, um, uh, a lot of what I'm doing is more of the same. So I'm still doing clinics, I'm still doing a lot of horse expos, and I'm still producing TV shows, um, just not Horse Master. So I did okay. Horse Master for 11 years. We did 260 episodes. And I just felt like it was time to sort of bring that to a conclusion. Uh, there's only so many times you can do a TV show about picking up the correct lead or right. uh, some of these in horsemanship. We all have the same problems over and over again. So after mm -hmm. about 11 years of that, uh, you start repeating a lot of stuff. Um, but I've all, um, also stepped a little bit more into the TV production, started a new production company called Two Horse Productions. Oh, fantastic. And we're working right now on two different TV series. One of them is about horses and the horse lifestyle, a lot okay. like this show you're doing. And um, the other one is about um, dog, dog whispering and horse whispering okay. and sort of how those two things are alike and how they're different. Sure, and it seems like most horse people are naturally dog people anyway. So They sure are. Uh, I don't know together. any horse people that don't have dogs. <laughs> There's a lot of dog people that don't have horses, yeah. but all us horse, pe dog, horse people have dogs. Yeah. So you've been involved, of course, with CHA as a as a program director and now as a spokesperson. And, uh, you know, personally, I've been involved with this organization for a number of years, too. And it is really uh, the organization that's out there certifying instructors and teaching people how to teach. And uh, one of the things Julie is known for is her ability to take a really complex topic and distill it down. So as you're uh, working with some of these CHA instructors, uh, what are some of the things that they're wanting to know from you as somebody who comes in as a guest to teach it at something like this? Well, you know, we're all looking for tools to add to our bag of tricks. Instructors uh, of any kind, of any, of anything, are always looking for ways to teach the subject better. And so, and, and CHA is an organization that's very much about sharing ideas and promoting ideas. And so, when we come to these conferences and we attend the workshops, we're looking for ways to freshen up our teaching, new exercises, um, new analogies that we can use in our teaching. Yeah. Um, so I try to share, it, when I do workshops here, I try to not just teach a lesson on collection, but actually teach the instructors that are here the techniques I use in teaching. Here's the way I set it up. Here's mm -hmm. the language that I use. Here are the exercises that I use, and here's the reason why. So we're really dissecting um, what it takes to be a good instructor, yeah. like you just said, and mm -hmm. teaching people how to teach better. Yeah. Um, and CHA is open to anyone who wants to be involved. We have a lot of parents that are members of our organization because they mm -hmm. teach their kids to ride. Yeah. Um, you don't necessarily have to be a professional instructor to be sure. in a position to be teaching someone else. Sure. Or learning, you know, and, and it's it's like playing a musical instrument. There's always that next little thing that you can add to what you do that just makes so much difference. There is a whole world out there that needs the level one riding instructor. You know? Well, m more than needs the higher level. <laughs> right, absolutely. So, and also, like any other sport, we need to bring beginners and mm -hmm. we need more people in this sport. And so, yeah, the, the lower level instructors are really... They're the heart and soul. It's what really. makes the wheels turn. Mm -hmm. I believe in meeting meeting people at the level they're at mm -hmm. and advancing them wherever that is. Yeah. And um, I often teach beginner riders and expert riders in the same arena at the same time. Is it easy? No, you gotta be able to kind of multitask <laughs> gotta juggle there. a little bit, yeah. But it's not hard, you know, the the advanced riders are easy to make happy. You just throw out a little bit of stuff and say, go work on that. Yeah. And then, you know, the beginner riders are a little bit different. They take a little bit more supervision and sure. hand holding. Sure. Well, we're really fortunate to have Julie as part of this organization, and I'm excited to have her here on uh, this episode of Live Equestrian. Uh, thanks for subscribing, and, and uh, if you're a part of this, um, this YouTube channel, uh, keep passing those videos around because there's lots of good content, and we're going to keep bringing it to you. We'll catch you down the trail.